let's quickly review the precipitation patterns of 2012 and 2013 in southern Ontario. The first map shows that 2012 was below normal with some areas considerably below normal for the overall period. The 2013 map, however, shows that uh, everywhere was normal or above indicated by the green color on the map. We'll break it up into periods. 2012, we started off with a dry period. It lasted 19 days. And 2013, we started off with a dry period. However, it only lasted seven days. The pattern switched in uh, 2012. The following 20 days was a nice mixture, some areas above normal, some areas below, but compare that to the 23 days uh, in April where we had a decidedly wet period. The next period in 2012 was exceptionally dry across the province lasting 22 days from May 10th to May 31st. In 2013 the corresponding dry period lasted 19 days was not as dry in its extent. 2012 then followed up with a, again a more traditional mixed, uh, some areas normal, some areas wet, some areas dry uh, for 24 days. Take a look at 2013 map however and you'll see we had a 28 day period which was decidedly wet across most of southern Ontario. In 2012 we went to a 30 day dry period across the province, dry and hot, not much surplus precipitation previously, so it was very detrimental to crops. In 2013, a 31 day period running from June the 17th to July the 17th was again more of the normal nature, some areas actually on the wet side. 2012 we recovered from our droughty period with an 18, 18 day period where we had normal and above normal precipitation and we did the same in 2013 although we weren't suffering from a drought we went to a pattern where most of the province 21 days had normal or above normal precipitation. Rounding out the season in 2012 we finished out with a 20 day very very dry period across southern Ontario uh, leading us to August 31st. However, in 2013, that 24 day period was not nearly as dry in its extent. In fact, some areas were still experiencing normal precipitation.